We stand, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in this town and this nation must know that we stand with the families of the tens of thousands who have perished at the hands of the killing machine of Bashar al-Assad in Syria. We stand today for the thousands and thousands of people who have been wounded by this brutal machine. We stand today by the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who have been forced from their homes. And we stand today with the two and a half million people that the United Nations tell us have been severely affected by this brutality. This brutality cannot stand. This brutality should not stand. And this brutality will not stand if we stand together with Syria. We've been calling for tougher economic action, diplomatic and economic sanctions. We have been following the money and stopping the flow of money from companies that would seek to profit from these atrocities. But closer to home, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you know this story because it's still going on in Washington, we learned that the Pentagon, the Pentagon is purchasing weapons in a no-bid contract to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars from the company that is the principal supplier of weapons to the Assad regime. Our Pentagon! Our Pentagon! So we went to the Pentagon and 30,000 of our members joined us in asking Secretary Panetta to stop the contract and end it once and for all and stop forcing American taxpayers' monies into the pockets of these suppliers of weapons. Well, they didn't listen. So we went to the Congress of the United States and just a few weeks ago on the floor of the United States House of Representatives we proposed through J Congressman Jim Moran an amendment to the defense bill that said no more will the United States be putting a penny into the pockets of those suppliers of weapons to Bashar al-Assad. There was a tough vote, a tough debate, but when the smoke had cleared on the House of Representatives, we prevailed by a vote of 407 to 5. We're cutting off those contracts. We're cutting them off. And so on this Labor Day weekend, when Americans across the country stop and pause and enjoy their families, we are going to use, as we are this morning, our freedom to join with our families and stand with the families of Syria who are under siege. Mr. President, we are all Syrians. Thank you.